Hello, hello, I'm Beth Joey and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I've seen a trend going around heaps where people read a chapter of a bunch of different books on their TBR and then they pick what book they're going to read next based on what they think of that chapter and what they think the book's going to be about after that chapter and I thought why not let's jump on the bandwagon and have a go with that with my last books of 2021. Now if you watch the video that I put out on Monday I have nine books on my TBR for the month of December aka nine books that I want to read before the end of the year. When I filmed this I think I was sort of cheating because I was halfway through um, one of the books and then a bunch of the others. I had planned to read pretty quickly so by the time I actually put out that video I'd read a few of the books. So let's start with Jade Fire Gold by June C.L. Tan. So first chapter of first book done. This is initial first impressions. I am completely hooked. It shoves you right in there, gives you no context on what's going on, just kind of gives you a moment in time, a glimpse in time that sort of explains a character's motivations behind whatever is going to happen in the rest of the book. From what I do know about this book, it follows two different characters, one who's looking to seek revenge and one who is looking to sort of seek out her destiny. Strong contender for the next book that I'm going to read. For the second book, it is How to Kill Your Family by Bella Mackey. So another prologue entrance into the book that throws you completely into the story with uh, no context. So How to Kill Your Family definitely seems to be very tongue-in-cheek. Um, it sort of looks like it's a girl who's committed a bunch of murders um, and then she says she's in prison for the one murder that she didn't commit which is the murder of her family. There definitely seems to be a lot of speculation, a lot of fame and attention around her case which gives her some level of notoriety. So when she goes into this prison she gets some level of um, of admiration from the other inmates which I think will be really interesting to explore especially how she reacts to that given she's not actually guilty at least in her mind of what is giving her this notoriety. So the next one is Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber and the incredible fairy loot edition of this book which is just this most gorgeous like hot pink colour. Well that was probably the quickest first chapter read that I've ever done. There seems to be some sort of bell that's able to predict the future or something in this book and it's it wants to sort of warn the girl um so the bell's in a shop and it wants to warn the girl who works the shop that the guy who's just entered is going to ruin her life or something I know this is about you know heartbreak and, and um you know a girl wants everything and and more with this one person but yeah that that first chapter gave me no indication of what this what this book is really going to be about or any of the characters and their motivations or anything like that i'm really really curious because i have no idea really what to say. I, I I can't predict anything about this book based on that first chapter other than the fact that there's this strange bell with a sixth sense. The last book for this video that I'm going to be reading a chapter from is Little Thieves by Margaret Owen. Again, another incredible edition. I believe this one was Illumicrate. My favourite thing I have to say about this edition is the hardback cover again because I love these sort of cartoony characters that give me real um, you know the series, series of unfortunate events? They kind of remind me of that. That one reminds me of the oldest brother, who I think is named Klaus. Another fascinating prologue. I do, I do love prologues, but it does make this, this um, challenge quite difficult. It seems to have um, two sort of godmothers, I guess, uh, death and fortune, and a woman who is the 13th daughter um, in her own family and then has had 13 children and so she believes that her 13th child named Vanya is the epitome of bad luck. So she's trying to essentially hand her off to death and fortune to sort of get rid of her essentially and she's lied to all of her other children about, about what she's doing with Vanya because obviously it's quite despicable and Vanya I think is only four when this is happening so it's just it's just nuts. Another strong contender I think. So those are the four books left on my TBR for the month of December, obviously not including Morningstar by Pierce Brown. Each of them very much uh, threw me into the story with the with the prologue being how you're sort of introduced to, to the story. But there was, um, there was definitely one which I am most intrigued by. I've never read anything like this uh, at all. So I think I'm going to go with How to Kill Your Family by Bella Mackey. It just, it seems really fascinating. It seems like a really fun, interesting read. I'm on a bit of a crime binge at the moment. I've been watching a lot of true crime TV shows. So I am kind of intrigued to know how, why she was convicted for killing her family, whether or not she actually did it. 
Um, she talks about committing a bunch of other murders that she got away with, so I'm I'm very, very fascinated by this character. As always, let me know if you've read any of these books or if any of these books are on your TBR for the month of December. Let me know what else is on your TBR for this month. I don't tend to read seasonally, but I would be interested to know what everybody else is reading. Other than that, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified when I release new content, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.